Hello guys and welcome back to lead logics. This is the determine if two strings are closed problem from lead code. This is a lead code medium and the number for this is 1657. So in the given problem, we are given with two strings and uh, we are given the definition of what a closed string is. So two strings are considered closed if you can attain one from the other using the following operations. And the operations are that the first operation is that we can swap any two existing characters that means you can pick any two characters from the given string and swap it like you can see from a b c d e b and e are chosen and it becomes a e c d b and the another operation which what we can perform is that we can convert one existing character into another existing char character like for example you see here a a c a b b so in this A is converted to B and B is converted to A. So all A is converted to B and all B is converted to A. So these two operations can be performed. And we can use the, the operations as many number of times as necessary. And uh, given the two strings, we have to return true if uh, they are close and false if they are, they are not close. So to solve this problem, we would need to understand the operations that don't change the frequency of the characters uh, only their positions and representation can be changed so like you can see uh, their pos position can be changed because we are uh, free to swap them but the uh, number of and the representation can be changed and also the frequency should not be changed like for example I uh, tell you uh, that Operation 1 allows us to reorder the character in any fashion, making the relative order of the characters or the in, inconsequential uh, like we do not need in sequence. Whereas this operation, second operation, this allows us to transform the character into each other given that the both uh, characters exist in both strings. And the consequence uh, for this is that both word 1 and word 2 must contain the same unique character same number of unique characters they must contain uh, that means they have they must have the same set of keys in the characters what we are going to create and both word 1 and word 2 must have same character frequencies like although they have a different uh, key but the value should be same for the uh, frequency table the value should match uh, it is not necessary that, that the key should match but the value should match so let's see through an example how we are going to solve so suppose we have a word 1 equal to baba and baba -B -A and the word 2 equal to ABAB. -A -B. so uh, we first count the frequency of each character in both words so the counter for word 1 becomes b to a2 in uh, string 1 and for word 2 it becomes a to b2 this shows that both a and b appear twice in both strings okay now when we will be comparing it with uh, the dictionaries now set uh, set will give the number of unique characters in both this uh, uh, word 1 and word 2 so set will also give us equal so set uh, of count 1 dot keys gives uh, 2 and set of count 2 dot keys also gives 2 so for example this uh, means that a b equal to uh, b a this we can convert a into b and b into a then we will have the same string which evaluates to true that means this is the uh, closed string and one more uh, step is that uh, we compare the sorted values of both the counters like after sorting we compare them in case like the sorted of 2 of 2 and sorted of 2 of 2 the sorted list of characters count both uh, for word 1 and word 2 is 2 2 that is also same then we are sure that uh, this would be a close string so this is how we are going to solve now let's come to the code section but before that do like the video share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you are new to your channel so First of all, we will be defining two frequency tables to count the frequency of the elements 
for the letters that occurs in the strings. Now we need to update the frequency as well. We have to do a A to get it in the form of ASCII code. Subtract the ASCII code of A, and then we'll do the same thing for frequency 1 of i is greater than or equal to 0 and frequency 2 of of i is equal equal to 0 or it's the opposite case so we copy this or this becomes 2 this becomes one then in that case we have to return false this means there is no possibility that we can reach to an answer otherwise we will sort the frequency tables because we are only sorting this because the keys doesn't matter in this or what matters is the values of the frequency table so that's why we are sorting this of 1 of i not equal to frequency of 2 dot i now we need to just check that the relative order uh, not the order like uh, the values in the frequency table should all be exactly similar that's why we have sorted and then checking like uh, are they same or not because in that we'll get from the smallest to the lowest so this is the code so this runs fine for the sample test cases let's run for the hidden test cases as well passes the hidden test case as well with a good time complexity and a good memory complexity so the time complexity for this solution is n log n plus m log n because of this sorting part this is dominant over all the other because this takes a n n n but this takes n log n plus m log n so that is the maximum and the space complexity is n plus m because of the frequency uh, not the frequency because we are using the operations that way so i hope you understood the logic you can also check the c plus plus python and the javascript solution by going into the solution panel you can see this solution this one click on this check the intuition the approach the complexity the java solution c++ python javascript and yes do remember me to upload so i hope you understood the logic do share the video with your friends like the channel subscribe the channel thank you
Thank you for watching the video. Have a nice day.